Man, y'all making so much noise over there. All I'm doing is trying to film a video. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in. This video is going to be a little bit different than usual. As you can see, we got the Ron. We're out in a big old empty parking lot and um, I'm here to teach you guys how to wheelie the Suron. This is honestly one of my most requested videos is do a tutorial video on how to wheelie the Suron. But yeah, I don't want to sit here and uh, run my chops, especially we got construction in the background. They're building houses and stuff back there and running bulldozers. So I don't know if you guys can hear it on the video. It's super loud here in person. So basically, Basically, I'm going to look at this as you're watching this video and you've never rode a Suron before in your life. Never wheelied anything before in your life. Even if you have wheelied like a dirt bike or a four-wheeler and you're telling yourself, I can easily wheelie a Suron, you might be able to, but let me tell you, it is different. There's no foot brake. All you got is a handbrake. The weight difference, this thing literally feels like an upgraded mountain bike with a lot of power. It's only 125 pounds, so it's not as heavy as like, you know, your dirt bikes or your four-wheeler, but then again, it's also not as light as like your mountain bikes or your BMX bikes. Plus, there's no gears. It's a a big learning curve so we're gonna start these off in steps and I'm gonna come at you with step one get out on your Suron and literally just take it to a parking lot and ride it for an hour maybe two hours get used to the bike I'll give you some examples find you a nice stretch take the bike go full throttle and then hit the brakes and slowly pull the brake in and start to feel where that back tire locks up just to get the feel of your back brake you'll feel when it starts to engage you'll feel when it actually starts to stop stop and then you'll feel when it actually like locks up you want to get familiar with that because the more you know the way your brake feels the better off you'll be without looping or mouse trapping so get used to that bad boy kind of get the bike up to 15 20 miles an hour and then throw it into a dip swerve the bike Feel how the bike reacts. You should be able to sit down in a sit down like this, lock your bar all the way to lock, and, and do a circle just like this without falling off your bike, without putting your foot down. You should be able to slow it down super slow with the brake and throttle. There's all kinds of exercises that you can do to like start getting to know your bike more, you know? So that's step one, guys. Get out, get to know your Suron before you move on to step two. And guys, this isn't a competition, this isn't a race. I said go out for two hours and get used to your Suron. If you ride for two hours and you don't feel comfortable in your Suron, keep riding. Everybody learns at different speeds. Don't get yourself in competition with nobody. Learn at your own pace, because guess what? When you learn it, you learned it. It's just up from there, so don't get discouraged. But that brings us to step two. Now, step two is gonna be the pop method, the suspension pop. Uh, it's got a bunch of different names. There's no reason to overwork yourself trying to get your bike to do a wheelie. When you can use the suspension and let the bike bring itself up, that's the way to go. And literally, the best way that I can explain this to you guys, if you used to play PlayStation 2, you probably played a game called MX vs. ATV Off-Road Fury. Now, now, if you played that game a lot, you got good at it and you knew how to preload your suspension before you hit jumps. You'd pull back on the joysticks and that would throw all the riders weight to the rear. And as you hit the bottom of the jump and like started to get to the top, you would fling your joysticks forward and all you'd pretty much be doing is preloading your suspension to get more oomph out of the jump. That is basically the same thing you're doing with the Suron to get the front wheel up. Honestly, my Suron isn't the greatest way of explaining and showing you guys this because my Suron forks, I have set up super stiff and they're half blown out. <laughs> so they don't have much spring to them. So it's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys. So whenever you're ready to start learning the pop method, uh, the best way I could probably say to do it is basically with both feet down. This is gonna be kind of hard to explain because it's all gonna happen so fast. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the brake so that way you can compress the suspension and the bike doesn't roll on you. So hold the brake in and you're gonna Press and come back up. And when you press and you're down, that's when the suspension's gonna be down. And when you start to come back up, the suspension's gonna follow you. As everything starts to come back up, you're gonna be letting go of the brake so that way the bike can roll now. But don't let go of the brake all the way. Let go of the brake, but keep your finger on the brake lever. And at the same time you're letting go of the brake, you're giving it throttle. And then as the bike comes up, your feet are going to drag the ground to kind of keep you feeling confident and safe and planted. And you're gonna try to start figuring out where that brake engages and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what this all looks like. And uh, it's gonna be kind of quick, but you'll get an idea. Brake in, compress the suspension, brake out and gas. You need to get 
comfortable with the throttle and the braking. That's why I told you this in step one. Because once you get comfortable with that, then you should be able to do this. Little throttle, little brake. You can see my, I'm sure on the 360 camera, I'll pan into my finger right now. You can see right now that I'm riding the brake. So if I was off the brake, I'd be here. And then on the brake, and all I'm doing is just, I'm riding the brake, and as I start to go back further, I'm just adding pressure to the lever. Like, drop back, add pressure to the lever to stop you. I think that's a big problem when a lot of people start learning handbrakes. They grab it with too much pressure, and that's because they're not covering it, and then when the bike starts to go back, the last minute, you know, oh snap, cover it and they grab it with too much force and then they mouse trap and go over the bars. If you keep a little consistent pressure on it, I'm not saying to ride it so much that your brakes start glowing red. To have all this room to play with, you wanna take the slack out and add just a little bit of pressure while you're in the wheelie. And then as you drop back further, add more pressure. And it's just something you gotta play with and practice. And guys, if worst comes to worst and you forget to brake, look, I'll pick my finger off the brake. You literally just walk backwards and step on the ground. That's why your feet are already on the ground. It makes you feel that much more confident. But yeah, if you guys want to learn the whole pop method and how to bring it up without putting your feet down, that is totally up to you. I'm just breaking it down how I learned and uh, I feel like a lot of people can relate to that because I taught a lot of locals around me, you know, how to wheelie and they picked up on it super quick. So hopefully these tips can relate to you guys and you can learn how to wheelie fast as well too. Work on this step as long as you need. Once you figure out like where that coast point is and you know where that brake is needed you really start it, it's, it gets addicting guys I'm warning you now so step one you've gotten used to your Suron you've gotten a good feel for it step two you figured out the pop method you're you're working the brake now you're slowing it down you're controlling it with your feet back still you say you're feeling the ground but that's okay because step three is now we're gonna work on putting one foot up don't don't get too ahead of yourself one foot at a time we're gonna put this foot up now, if you're uh, a righty, this is probably comfortable for you. If you're a lefty, you might be putting your right foot down and keeping your left foot up. It's totally up to the person, whatever you feel comfortable with. Me, I started on gas bikes, so I always kept the right foot up because I had a foot brake to worry about. This, it doesn't really matter, but I'm comfortable with the right foot, so that's how I did it. Again, we're going to do the same thing. This is probably going to be a little bit different and maybe a little more scary because now we don't have both feet grounded the bike's probably going to want to go left on you like super hard or if you got your right foot down it's probably want to go going to go right really hard and the only way to really to fix that is adjusting your weight you know if you if you got your left foot off then throw a little bit of your left butt cheek off the seat to counter the weight a little bit or if you got your right foot off on the ground you need to slide a little bit of your right butt cheek off the seat to counter it a little bit same way with both feet down as with a foot up you're basically going to do the same pop method and pull it up and like I said earlier, you can either slide a little bit of your butt cheek off, or if you keep your weight centered, you can kind of hold the hold the bike itself at a little bit of an angle, and uh, that will that will keep you going straight as well. It's all a learning curve, and it's all just going to take time. It's all trial and error. Uh, another tip that really helped me is watch your fork tubes. So when these fork tubes are level with the ground the bike is right at balance point the bike will probably start coasting if you go any further back so if the angle is further back you better be on that brake if the angle of the forks are further forward then look the bike falls you need gas so that's kind of another tip that kind of helped me whenever i was learning because when you're doing a wheelie looking straight your forks are right there so you just kind of gotta keep an eye on them to figure out you know and then once you figure out you'll never look at them again <laughs> so step one You've gotten used to your Suron. Step two, you figured out the pop method and how to get it up and, you know, kind of start using the back brake and whatnot. Step three, you're working on getting one foot up on the peg and still, you know, getting used to the brake and getting used to all the how that feels. And then step four is basically just both feet up, man. That is the final step. When you got both these feet up on these pegs and you're doing a wheelie and you're dropping back, you've done it. You have conquered the brain fear of looping and falling off. Don't be that guy that squeezes his bike with his legs while doing a wheelie. 
because that is going to absolutely get you nowhere but pancaking. You put your legs in tight like this and you start to do a wheelie and it starts to fall. You have no way of countering it because your legs are already in tight. So, little tip. When you're doing a wheelie with both feet on the pegs, keep your legs, you know, comfortable. Pulling your legs in like that is not comfortable. Sitting on your bike comfortable is the way to be. Four simple steps. Doesn't matter how long you take on each step. When you get to the fourth step, you should be wheeling. But yeah, guys, that's my four-step process on how to wheelie the Suron. I'm sure I forgot a bunch of things. But, of course, if you guys have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. And I read every comment, and I try to answer every comment. But I really do enjoy making these tutorial videos for you guys and teaching you guys everything I know and what I've learned about bikes. I think it's pretty cool, especially getting to watch people that, you know, couldn't do wheelies, and they watch my videos, and now they're doing wheelies. That's To me, that's awesome, so... If you guys want some more tutorial videos, just let me know down in the comments as well. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you learned anything from this video, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, comment, show some love, especially if you learn how to wheelie. I put a lot of time and effort in these videos, but I upload new content every Sunday and Thursday, and I hope to see you guys there. Till next time, peace out. Bye, have a great time.